Welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. We welcome all of our brothers and sisters joining us today on our various social media platforms. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Today as a church, we celebrate the memorial of St. Charles Borromeo, a bishop of the church, a bishop who was instrumental in reforming the church, especially in the formation and in the life of ministry for the clergy. As you prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, Therefore, I ask, ask Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord mercy. have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you filled the Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed, and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. My beloved, obedient as you have always been, not only when I am present, but all the more now when I am absent, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For God is the one who, for his good purpose, works in you both to desire and to work. Do everything without grumbling or questioning that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and per perverse generation among whom you shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life, so that my boast for the day of Christ may be that I did not run in vain or labor in vain, but even if I am poured out as a libation upon the sacrificial service of your faith, I rejoice and share my joy with all of you. In the same way, you also should rejoice and share your joy with me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, 
to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my light and my, my salvation. salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my, my light and my, my salvation. salvation. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, having laid the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, this one began to build, but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king, marching into battle, would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king, advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, wherever we may find ourselves, we gather through social media to gather in the Spirit of God and to celebrate the Eucharist. And we gather as disciples of Jesus. It is because of our faith in Him, because of our response to His call to be disciples, that we gather today to be nourished once again by word and to also be nourished by spiritual communion. And as we hear the Lord Jesus today, he reminds us that the call to discipleship is not an easy one. That if we are serious about being a true disciple, we must renounce all our possessions. And at the beginning of the gospel, he stated, if anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. 
strong words, words that are very direct. But what we must understand today is that Jesus does not expect us to hate our fathers, our mothers, our wives, children, brothers, and sisters, nor to hate our life. Rather, Jesus wanted to make a point that if we true, are truly serious about being his disciple, then he must always come first and foremost in our lives. He needs to be center. He needs to be the source of everything we say, everything we do. And when he truly is that source, when he, we allow his spirit to transform our hearts, our minds, and our souls, it is then that we are able to truly love, to truly be united in life with our fathers and our mothers, our brothers, our sisters, our wives, our husbands, and even our very self. We truly live and radiate that love and that spirit of God. In the first reading today, in the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, he invites that Christian community to live like lights shining in the world as you hold on to the word of life. The word of life, that also needs to be first and center in our lives. As we celebrate this feast of St. Charles Borromeo, we are reminded of the importance of holding on to that word of life. As a bishop, he truly was a servant leader. He truly served those entrusted to his care. It's interesting to note that in the late 1500s in Milan where he was bishop, and as they were experiencing the plague, many left the city. City officials abandoned their people, and yet St. Charles Borromeo remained in his city, remained as bishop of his church, and went out and literally tended to the sick and to the hungry when others had abandoned them. He was able to do that because he truly was faithful to the call to be disciple of Jesus. A true disciple holding on to the word of life. And it was that word of life then that enabled him to be the light of Christ to those that he ministered to. So today, as we say yes to discipleship, as we say yes to the invitation to be true servants of Jesus in the world today, we pray through the intercession of St. Charles Borromeo that we may always hold on to the word of life so that like St. Charles, we may be like lights the light of Christ shining brightly in the world today, bringing life, bringing hope to our brothers and sisters who are in most need of those gifts of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we strive to live our lives pleasing to the Father, let us join together in faith to present our needs to him. That those in positions of authority may grow in charity and wisdom in serving their people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For those who have participated in the special candle program in honor of the commemoration of all the faithful departed and for their special intentions, that Christ may hear and answer them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For those infected by the coronavirus, may they be comforted by those who care for them and pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died, especially Kwong Joseph Wong, 
may rejoice with all the angels in the communion of saints in the presence of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we place these needs before you, knowing that you always listen and answer to our, our prayers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, amen. 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 Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, for the praise and the and glory, glory of his name, for our, our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles, and grant by the power of this sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merit of his virtues, so you may make us abound in good fruit by our works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Charles, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, and to always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, Saint Charles Borromeo, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are really here in the blessed sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world, and I hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself to you now, as I do when I actually receive you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made St. Charles faithful in his ministry and fervent in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Together we now pray the prayer in this time of the coronavirus. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen, Queen of the, the angels and mother of the Americas, we, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask, we ask you to intercede for us with your son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Cana. Pray, Pray for us, loving mother, and gain, gain for our nation and world, and, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your, of your holy angels, that, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those, for those already afflicted, we, we ask you to, to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe, wipe away their tears and help them to trust. And in this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother. Help of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you this day and always. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and to serve the Lord in one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And have a good day.
God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled, and the meek shall come to rule the world. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life. 